One beautiful morning, Max wakes up beside his girlfriend, Evelyn. Upon entering the living room, he discovers that his half-brother, Travis, has once again turned their apartment into a hookup spot. Concerned about Evelyn's potential anger due to the unwelcome guests, Max requests Travis to leave. However, Travis feels Evelyn is overly controlling, whereas Max believes she is too valuable to lose. Suddenly, Evelyn wakes up and promptly kicks Travis and his companion out. Max expresses that Evelyn was too harsh, but he apologizes when she disagrees. Moreover, Max is in a rush to get to work, but Evelyn wants him to stay longer so they can be intimate. Unable to refuse, Max stays, arriving late to work and getting scolded by his boss over the phone. Despite already being employed at a horror memorabilia shop, Max dreams of opening his own someday. When a delivery of new products arrives, including a variety of sexy costumes and a Satan genie that grants wishes in a malevolent manner, he shrugs off the oddity. Instead, he calls Evelyn, inviting her to come over and try on one of the sexy costumes. After getting intimate in the backroom of his workplace, Max opens up to Evelyn about his dream of opening his own horror shop. However, Evelyn dismisses it as foolish, particularly because she doesn't believe in the supernatural. Despite her skepticism, Max passionately defends his ideas. Later, Evelyn expresses her gratitude for meeting Max, revealing that he helped her through a difficult time after her mother's death. Touched, Evelyn asks Max to promise that they will always be together. Little do they know, Evelyn's wish unwittingly activates the Satan genie. Soon after, Evelyn moves in with Max in his apartment. Later, they step outside, and Max suggests getting ice cream together. Although Evelyn is hesitant at first due to her avoidance of dairy, Max persuades her to join him. Inside the ice cream shop, they meet Olivia, the shop owner known for making the ice cream herself. Max is impressed by the unique flavors inspired by monster cereals. Max and Olivia quickly connect over their shared interests, which makes Evelyn feel threatened. She lectures Olivia and eventually walks away in anger. However, Max, recognizing Evelyn's insecurity, apologizes to Olivia before following his upset girlfriend. Upon returning to the apartment, Max finds Evelyn in tears, apologizing for her earlier behavior. They reconcile, but Max is starting to feel worn out by the relationship. While at work, Max receives a call from Evelyn, who tells him she has a surprise. Excited, Max hurries home, only to find that the surprise isn't what he expected. Evelyn has redesigned their entire apartment to be eco-friendly and entirely green. Max is not thrilled about the change, especially when he discovers that Evelyn has folded his novelty posters, damaging them. He becomes angry with her for making such a big decision without consulting him. However, Evelyn plays the dead mother a card again, leaving Max feel guilty. After their argument, Max seeks advice from Travis, who suggests breaking up with Evelyn in a public place. Following this advice, Max calls Evelyn and arranges to meet at the dog park. Evelyn eagerly agrees, assuming Max is getting them a puppy. When Evelyn arrives, she runs toward Max, unaware of an approaching bus that hits her forcefully. Despite her desire to stay with Max, Evelyn passes away before the ambulance arrives. With few attendees at Evelyn's funeral, Max has no one to share his grief with except Travis. As time passes, Max struggles to come to terms with Evelyn's death. Eventually, Travis grows tired of Max's grief and encourages him to do something enjoyable. Max takes this advice and goes to the movies, where he runs into Olivia. They reconnect instantly, particularly since Olivia has recently ended a relationship. Finding comfort in each other's company, they spend time together. However, Max doesn't mention Evelyn's passing during their conversation. After reminiscing about their pasts over ice cream, Olivia suggests they visit the cemetery for fun. Unaware that Evelyn has risen from her grave as a zombie, Max and Olivia end the night making out on his apartment steps. Olivia decides it's too soon for them to take things further, so they part ways for the night. Upon returning upstairs, a knock on the door interrupts his thoughts about Olivia. To his horror, he finds zombie Evelyn at the door. Terrified, he initially believes he is hallucinating and shuts the door in her face. However, Evelyn is determined to re-enter his life. She immediately expresses a desire for intimacy, but Max is too horrified to entertain the idea. To stall, he asks Evelyn to take a bath first. While she's occupied in the bathroom, Olivia returns, having changed her mind about being intimate with Max. However, due to his current situation, Max sends Olivia away without disclosing the presence of his undead ex-girlfriend. After her bath, Evelyn tries to initiate intimacy with Max, but he remains hesitant. Suddenly, Evelyn slips and appears to break her neck, only to nonchalantly pop it back into place. Max is horrified by her apparent immortality. However, Evelyn is thrilled at the prospect of being together forever. Max begins to suspect that the situation is connected to the Satan genie. Unexpectedly, Evelyn vomits embalming fluid onto Max's face, causing him to pass out. 
The next morning Evelyn is still determined to be intimate with Max, but he hastily leaves for work to avoid her. At work, Max frantically calls Travis for help, but Travis dismisses his concerns, believing he is under the influence. While seeking a solution involving the Satan genie, Max accidentally drops it. Instead, he discovers a guidebook on how to banish the undead. He quickly takes note of the required items. Back at home, he meticulously follows the instructions. Meanwhile, Evelyn proposes biting Max so they can both lie forever. However, when Max finally blows the banishment powder on Evelyn's face, but it fails to work. Frustrated, Evelyn attempts to kill Max again, leading him to suggest going to a club to distract her. At the club, two girls approach Max, admiring Evelyn's makeup. Misinterpreting the situation, Evelyn assumes the girls are flirting with Max and pushes them away. At the bar, Max gets Evelyn the strongest liquor, but even after having multiple glasses of absinthe, she remains unfazed. Eventually, they leave the club and Evelyn vomits behind an alley. While Evelyn is occupied, Max runs into Olivia. They chat, and Olivia assumes Evelyn is just Max's friend since she cannot see her. Later, Max carries Evelyn back to their apartment, where she collapses from the alcohol. As Max falls on top of her, Travis walks in. Believing Evelyn to be dead, Travis is shocked and assumes Max is a freak. However, Evelyn suddenly wakes up, startling Travis, who promptly flees when she approaches him. Max tries to chase after Travis for help, but the situation is too bizarre for Travis, who leaves Max behind, advising him to break up with Evelyn. The next day, Evelyn surprises Max with breakfast and brings up her plan to bite him. Max tries to gently suggest taking a break from their relationship, but Evelyn reacts poorly. She becomes angry and breaks the floor, causing Max to backtrack on his words. At work, Olivia visits Max and gives him a hangover remedy. They chat and eat burgers, and just as the moment starts to become more romantic, Max receives a call from Evelyn. Evelyn insists that Max says, I love you, which Olivia overhears. She assumes that Max is still unable to move on from Evelyn, but Max can't fully explain the situation to her. Before leaving, Olivia tells Max that if he wants to be with her, he can find her at the movie showing in the cemetery. Desperate for help against Evelyn so he can be with Olivia, Max turns to Travis again. Travis gives him a machete to behead his zombie girlfriend. Back home, Max covers the floor with plastic for easy cleanup and waits for the right moment while Evelyn does yoga. However, Max can't bring himself to do it and returns the weapon to Travis. Feeling defeated, Max considers giving up, but Travis encourages him to meet Olivia while he handles Evelyn. Later, Max struggles to leave because Evelyn isn't convinced it's for work. Despite this, he eventually manages to leave, though not without a quick kiss. As Max heads off to meet Olivia, Travis goes upstairs, pretending to retrieve something from Max's apartment. While there, Travis buys time by watching DVDs, despite Evelyn's attempts to kick him out. Meanwhile, Olivia and Max have a wonderful time outside and end up making out. However, the gruesome scenes in Travis' DVD trigger Evelyn's zombie instincts. Before Travis can grab his machete, Evelyn immediately bites his skull. While Max and Olivia begin to get intimate in her car, Travis is losing the battle against Evelyn. Eventually, she ends up eating Travis. The next day, Max rushes back to the apartment for Travis, only to find Evelyn looking significantly worse. Evelyn immediately senses that something is amiss with Max. Max discovers that Evelyn killed Travis, which deeply upsets him. Despite this, Evelyn persists in trying to convince Max to be with her forever. Max tells her to run a hot bubble bath for them. While Evelyn is distracted, Max traps her inside by blocking the door with their dresser. He then calls 911 for help and recounts the full story of zombie Evelyn. Unfortunately, the emergency services do not believe him and hang up. With no other options, Max runs to the police station. Meanwhile, Evelyn grows suspicious of Max's absence and realizes she's trapped inside. However, the flimsy blockage is no match for Evelyn's zombie strength. She also notices that Max forgot his phone and discovers Olivia's text about their date the previous night. Enraged, Evelyn breaks his phone and heads to Olivia's workplace to attack her. Meanwhile, Max is still unable to convince the police of the reality of his situation. Suddenly, he overhears a radio call from an officer about an attack at Olivia's shop. He quickly rushes back to the ice cream shop but finds no one there. He then returns to the apartment and discovers that Evelyn has tied up Olivia. Due to the situation, Max finally reveals the truth, that Evelyn is already dead. He confesses that he has been unhappy in their relationship for a long time. Evelyn agrees to move on, but only if she can take Max with her. A fight ensues between the three as Olivia manages to untie herself. Despite being outnumbered, Evelyn overpowers them. Just before Evelyn can bite Max, Olivia throws a vase at the zombie and tells Max to aim for the brain. He grabs a broken shard and stabs Evelyn in the head, but it doesn't work, and she continues to beat them. Unexpectedly, Travis defeats Evelyn by impaling her torso with a machete. 
It turns out he has also risen from the dead as a zombie. Afterward, with Olivia's help, Max is finally able to bury his ex for good. He apologizes to Olivia for not being honest with her sooner, but she dismisses it and kisses him. Max then starts a new, happier chapter in his life, working in his own horror shop alongside Olivia's ice cream shop. He even proposes to Olivia. Meanwhile, they keep zombie Travis around, employing him as a roadside sign spinner for their shops. Thank you for watching the recap. If you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel as we will be sharing more recaps like this.